Well, there's been heavy fire between Israeli forces and Palestinian fighters during raids across the occupied West Bank. Israeli military vehicles entered the northern cities of Jenin and Tubas early on Wednesday. Two Palestinians were reportedly injured in Jenin. Well, Laura Khan is live for us in Ramallah. Laura, so we know the Israeli military has dramatically stepped up raids right across the West Bank since October 7th. Tell us what's been happening overnight. They really have, Darren. Um, in fact, um, I'm in Ramallah at the moment. It's been happening all the way north. Um, if you go two hours up to Janine, uh, we've had raids throughout the night. It happened in a village uh, called Yamun, and it's quite unusual to see any kind of action there. Uh, but it seems when the Israeli army raided this village, there was some Palestinian resistance. We've been hearing gunfire reverberating throughout that village. Now, if you then go south, by about half an hour to Tubas. Again, very unusual to see any kind of resistance inside Tubas, but that certainly happened tonight. There was an Israeli army raid, and we heard at least a minute of non-stop gunfire reverberating throughout the entire city. Uh, and then further south to Nablus, this is about an hour north of where I am in Ramallah, uh, the Israeli army has been raiding throughout the night for many hours, and um, it's still going on, actually, in, in villages surrounding, uh, uh, surrounding Nablus. Um, they came um, into Balanta refugee camp and um, other villages. They made their way from village to village, and they were met with some uh, resistance. There were some, um, some handmade kind of explosives uh, so we've been seeing this resistance happening throughout the north of the West Bank. Uh, there was also a raid happening in Hebron, uh, south of here, which is quite different uh, to the usual uh, raids. It was a punitive measure against a Palestinian fighter who was killed uh, just after the war started in Gaza. Um, he, with a number of other people, um, attacked some settlers and soldiers, okay. killing uh, one soldier. So they used punitive measures, usually against the families. They measured his house, and they're now um, setting explosives uh, ready to destroy the family home. And, Laura, as we're talking to you, we're seeing some of the pictures uh, from those raids. Um, let me ask you briefly, how significant are these raids? I mean, we've never seen them on this scale before. Well, this really is a psychological tactic by the Israeli army um, on the Palestinians just to try to prevent them, essentially, from rising up. They certainly don't want to see um, what happened two dec decades ago, another intifada happening. So we are not only seeing these raids, um, but there's been more than 6,000 arrests um, throughout the occupied West Bank. But they're also shutting down um, many of the towns and villages. Most of them have these big yellow gates, so when anything happens, they can close off and cut off Palestinian villages. They've um, erected more... Uh, uh, well, there's been um, many kind of... Uh, sorry, cities um, cut off uh, with Israeli checkpoints as well. So people are usually stuck for hours behind these checkpoints um, when they're just going from town to town, village to village. And we've seen this um, much more so since the start of the war in Gaza. All right, uh, Laura Khan, live for us there in Ramallah. Laura, thank you.